I am so passionate about how we can rethink and redesign our retirement. AARP research shows that those of us over 60 are finding ourselves very lonely and isolated. And our U.S. Surgeon General has just released a new report about this as well. I think I have a solution. And actually, it's the number two suggestion on the AARP report. Are you ready? Their number two suggestion is to start traveling. And I couldn't agree with them more. Getting out within 100 miles of your community to a nearby park or going to visit friends is a way to get out of that feeling of loneliness and isolation you may be feeling. When I travel, I make sure to make a point of finding activities that I can get involved in short term or long term. Let me give you an idea of some of the things that you can do at home or that I do on the road. I take classes. I take French lessons and Spanish lessons and pottery classes and art classes. I look in the local papers and the online to see what's going on. I use Eventbrite and you can do the same thing at home. The point of going out and finding these things is not only to eliminate the isolation of being at home alone, but because you'll meet people with a common interest. So the idea is that after pickleball or after giving blood in the in the canteen where you're getting a cookie or something, or after a drawing class in a museum, you have this opportunity to have a conversation about what you both learned or what you thought about it. I've met so many people through the French classes and the pottery classes, and we end up having lunch together. It really does give you an opportunity to meet new people, but because we're sort of like-minded and interested in those same things, there's a common thread that allows us to form a connection. The connection doesn't have to be forever, but at least is a connection that allows me not to be that solo nomad all the time. And I think back at the end of the day and go, well, that was a really nice day. I enjoyed that. And with electronic communication, I have stayed in touch with many of these people through text and messenger and on Facebook. So there's lots of ways to maintain that connection and not continue the solo alone. I interview people on my podcast and they're so honored to share their story. So it's very fun. I love being the interviewer and learn more about those people beyond how we just met. All of these provide benefits as a solo nomad to me personally and allow me to get out of my solo bubble. And, and sometimes it could be once a week that I'm doing th something. Other weeks I could have two or three things that I'm doing. But the point is that even though I'm traveling alone or if you're at home living alone, there are lots of opportunities that you have to go outside and figure out, do you like drawing? Do you like taking photographs? Is there a cooking class you want to take or a language you want to learn? So I would encourage you to bust the bubble of us being over 65, isolated and lonely, and really take it into our own hands to rethink and reinvent our retirement and decide that we can live our best life now and we just need to take the next steps to get us out of our own little bubble.